Hi everyone, welcome in this video, Arian here and today we are going to create this with Elementor. So let's start right away. So let's create a section like this one. Click on the section, go on height, min height, VH and make it 100, so it's 100%. Um, inner section here, duplicate, you have three columns, right? Great. Now we are going to search for a widget called icon, drag and drop it here in the first column. Left, click here on the icon, heading, just put it below the star and then add some text. Okay, so we have the structure. Click on this column here, go on advanced, percentage, and let's play with the percentage of the padding. Looks nice. Let me go on my XD file and check a little bit. Copy also the text so we have the same design with the same text. Paste it. Going to copy also the description. So make sure everything looks the same. Okay. So I'm going to remove a little bit of padding. You need to play with this and check. So the typography of the title, I'm going to change it to enter um, and then also the sizing make it a little bit bolder uh, maybe too much 700 for me it's okay and then the text go and remove the space text and cans here delete uh, so that you remove the space the extra space click on the column and then here on style uh, check the border and make it solid. Um, here we can make the border radius a little bit rounded, so just add some um, some value here, like I will keep it on 10, uh, solid, make it dotted, or sorry, dashed in this uh, case, uh, and this is the initial look, so let me go on my XD, as you can see it's not the same, but we are going to fix this in a moment. First of all, I will select the colors, um, like this one and then I will add a color here background I will add the other color taking it from my XD file and then paste it here great the title going to change also the color of the title so was the first color actually so i'm going to get my first color here and then this one is the darker color so yeah style and i'm going to add the darker color the same color will be applied to the icon so you can enable this if it asks um, and then select the icon you want and of course import the media great so now I'm going to change the color of the icon, right? Uh, I'm giving the same color of the, of the darker one. So I just paste it here. And then you can change the size by dragging this uh, little uh, bar here. Perfect. Great. So now I'm clicking on the column and going on advance. And I want to add some margin because of course I need to add the other, uh, the other cards, right? So play with the margins. Just check it a little bit like this, um, looks good, but probably I'm going to remove some of the of the padding here. So uh, it's really a, a, a game of, you know, <laughs> trying out some sizes. Okay, so looks great. Um, I'm going, I think, to um, check my design and now I will um, see the spacing as you can see the spacing is different from the design so I'm going to unlock this and try to add on the top and on the bottom some spacing so like the card is more higher um, and then on border I am also making the border a little bit more uh, thin so the width here you need to be uh, like one for example it's very very small if you click on two um, as you can see now, it's, it looks a lot better and uh, very similar to the design we have on Adobe XD. So now, um, looks great. Let me check it quickly and, uh, and yeah, I think that looks very similar to it. Of course, you should take time and, 
and work better but yeah for this tutorial i think this is looks great so i'm going to the mobile version and tablet version as you can see this is the tablet version right so i'm clicking on the title and make it smaller only for the tablet version also the text you can change it here and of course make it uh, like this 14 so it's a little bit smaller okay great so now let's check the mobile version and now the mobile version we are going to check it and looks great so i won't do any edits i'm going to duplicate the columns remove the the empty ones and as you can see now we have uh, our three things so this inner section could be also changed in width so that the boxes changed based on the inner section width as you can see and uh, yeah, they looks great right now. They look a lot better, a lot similar to this. And we are going to copy uh, the text right now. High quality, best coding. Yeah, simple, right? So anyway, we are just going to switch the colors and I will make this video a little bit faster because we did already see how to do that uh, previously, right? Great, so um, that was very quick. <laughs> so now we are going to actually add some animation. So select the first element like the icon and go on advanced step and fade up like this. So advance, uh, fade up and advance, fade up. Do the same thing for all of the three cards. So again, um, fade up, fade up the other one advance and fade up. I'm going very quickly right now because it's quite simple. Fade up. Perfect. Great. So now we are also going to make a fade effect also to the entire column. So going to advance and again entrance animation. You can also try the fade in or like different animation. Uh, with this tutorial we we'll stick with the fade up so that um, yeah it's more visible uh, and then fade up but this time the second card add an animation delay of 200 okay same thing third card advance entrance animation fade up and make it 400 so it's the last card to appear okay so now if i update this uh, clicking on publish and have a look of this and as you can see, it works very well. So thanks a lot and see you in the next tutorial. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Bye.